everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Shoe Podcast, the only sneaker podcast that got a haircut and looks like a handsome young man now. I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tanner Young. And we're doing the dancing for two over here tonight. And do us a quick favor. Ooh. If you're not already, watch it on YouTube. Head on over to youtube.com forward slash at Shoe Podcast. Hit that subscribe button. Greatly helps Come a little on. channel like ours. Come on. I, uh, I was not really followed. I didn't really have a the only shoe podcast that idea because yeah. mm-hmm. a little bit of shattering the fourth wall here you and i were just catching up for like five or ten minutes and then we're like you yeah. want to record and then i hit the button and i was like oh i'm not really like i'm technologically ready but i'm not mentally yeah. ready for this you know well well that's basically the same thing i know at the end of every episode you're gonna you're gonna be like all right tanner what you got for the people and yeah. i i'm always just like uh, 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 uh. what maybe that you're maybe you're pointing it out now you've just bought yourself 40 minutes you know to let's hope to figure out what's to, going on to, there. To yeah. piece something together? To piece something yeah, together? Maybe. We'll see if he gets there. We'll see if he gets there. When you get the when you get the haircut, do you get the the, the beard care as well? Is there only not top? from the barbershop, no. The uh yeah. the barbershop I go to, here's a story no one asked for. The barbershop I go to has like four barbers that are there, and one uh-huh. of the barbers is like the one that you ideally don't want to get, but they're just walk ins. Mm-hmm. It's no schedules, it's no appointments. Last time uh-huh. I was there on Saturday and there were five people ahead of me in chairs to get barbers and like you all walk in, it's all walk in. So there's five people ahead of me in line. I thought I thought you were saying you got a haircut today and you had a no, on Saturday. No, I was no. like, <laughs> yeah, I get a haircut every other day, just like everyone else, right? Right? All everyone right. else, so haircut every so when other people day. Say, when, when people say Baton Rouge made of money, they really mean made of money. <laughs> so yeah, uh, five people ahead of me in chairs to get haircut before me. The barber mm. that you typically don't want is available, and he goes, "Who's oh. up next?" Five people pass on him, and I leapfrog to the front of the line. He's not my favorite either, but when you're talking about saving an hour and a half of my Saturday, line me up, man. Line me up. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. So, hey. Anyways. Looking fresh, though. Looking good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The uh, Yes, to answer your question, the beard and mustache is done at home. Yeah. 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 Same, what about which you? Which is why sometimes, sometimes it gets a little, you know. Not, a little not uneven, Steven. Even, but, yeah. you know, whatever. Used to. Used to get We're the. the uh, what we got here. That warm towel, yeah, mm, with mm. the straight razor. Oh, yeah. mm. but I mean, it's one of those things where it's like that is something you have to do like literally twice a week. And I'm like, I do not have sixty dollars to get no. just my beard taken care of. Yeah, well, if you don't have sixty dollars, then you're gonna love today's episode, which will require you to have several hundred dollars as we talk about the shoes coming out in August. If you want more than one pair, you would need to have several hundred dollars. That's I, listen, man, I ain't got to, I ain't got, you know, I ain't got a scooter, but I got a Segway for you. That's what I got. Jeez. So last month when we did our sneakers coming out in the month episode mm-hmm. was the first time we did something different where instead of putting together like cherry picking five shoes to talk about, we just yeah. opened up the sneaker news calendar. And I think the kicks on fire calendar and just scrolled through it. We asked you the listener for your feedback. Do you like this new format? You said, yes, you said you liked it. So you know what? Thank you. We heard, we're listening, we're going to give you more of that. And it's easier on us. So it's, God, this is great. Whether you said yes or no, you were probably yeah. going to get this, but the fact that you're excited for it makes it like everybody wins here, you know? See, I mean, and here's the thing. It's it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I feel like you just, like I used to do it more often than mm-hmm. I do now, but that would be something I would do. Like at the end, close to the end of the month, I would go mm-hmm. to kicks yeah. on fire sneaker news and i would just scroll through the calendar and yeah. just kind of look and see treat it like a little you know sears catalog you know Ooh. Ooh, do i like that you know you know yeah. maybe put a little little red circle yeah, hands like my mom uh, this is what i you know the christmas catalogs growing up you get the stickers and you put them in there so Ooh, maybe that boy, could be our next time. move for the for the yeah. production value we could get little like digital stickers we can put on the ones that we want okay. yeah so this is note basically to, you know to the everything editor. you would do yeah but we With friends. The only sneaker podcast that is the Sears catalog of sneaker podcasts. That's the tagline. Hey, there it is. I mean, they were kings for a while. I mean, they're yeah. still around. They're still around. Allegedly. You know? Hey, let me ask you real quick before we get into this. Did you look through either month already on the calendar and spot yes. anything you like? You don't. Couple. Don't. Okay. Yeah. Don't give me the details. Don't spoil oh, it for us. But a couple of things you're looking on. forward to. Um, I would say one. For mm. sure, Ooh. and maybe a second. I okay, which is interesting because I feel like there is. I saw 
one like each of those i i would see on one but not the other so i don't know why okay let's find out together shall we there you go that was for me to you so as we said this is the sneaker news release calendar we will scroll through these and just kind of click on and read about whatever catches our eye. So you might see a lot of us scrolling through stuff we're not interested in, yeah. such as a lot of this first row right here. But uh, shout out uh -huh. the Rubik's Cube, you know, getting its own shoe. It could have fooled me into like an Uno shoe, you know? Cool. That's next up. That's very Volt. Uh, who did an Uno yeah. shoe recently? Someone did an Uno shoe recently. recently. Yeah. Anyways. Ooh. Hit us up in the comments. <laughs> look how look how I said ooh at an air trainer one, but they changed the chlorophyll ooh. green to like fuchsia purple, and I'm like, hold it's on, a my wallet, gray trainer. Hold on, yeah. Listen, one I love second. It. I've been wearing yeah, mine a lot. Nice. Uh oh, the Nike Calm slides, which I feel like didn't hit on the Yeezy slides. Well, but I also feel like we've been seeing these for like months now that they're like the yeah. Nike Calm slides are coming. So I don't know if the initial release just got so delayed that they're actually coming out, or if this is like a restock. Uh, I haven't been paying enough attention, but. Yeah, I think I mean, we've alluded to in the past, very Yeezy slide-ish. Um, I mean, very much hitting, missing the, uh, you know, slide season. I yeah. guess, you know, eh. tail, unless you're unless you're below, you know, the Mason-Dixon line. Then I would say for, for those of us in Slide Louisiana, season goes yeah. deep into November. You're probably <laughs> yeah. wearing these for Thanksgiving. Yeah, these butt right up against Christmas there, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll see. We'll wow, see. a lot of colors. Right. A lot of colors. Hey, choices. Yep. You know. Donks, I do like it, which donk, okay. <laughs> you know, it's uh, nothing too exciting there that I can yeah, see. Nothing. Oh, nothing this is wild. the one. This is the one for me. The Vomero. The Vomero five specifically this. Hang on. And we're going to get the sneaker news pop up every time. And listen, you could sneaker news. If you're watching, I'm not turning <laughs> off the ad blocker. Cut the check ever. if you want, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cut the check. Like you sponsor us. Check. I'll turn off the ad blocker. But until then, no. I'm not. You know what it really is? It's huh. I, I'm not letting y sneaker news leak yeah. my my internet <laughs> yeah. history because ads go. are geared ads are geared towards you know the Google searches. Fair enough. <laughs> you're not catching. Fair you're not. Fair you're enough. not catching me Fair flipping. Enough. Yeah. You don't need to know that I'm looking up which Purina food is good for my dog's stomach and also Insta 360 versus GoPro 11. You don't need to know that. Not gonna happen. Not gonna Anyways, happen. these are coming out, which some shops already have these, but. This is the first Vomero 5 colorway that I think I've been pretty into. And you and I actually got a chance to see these together at Ruckus. They had a pair of these. Um, Not bad. This is one of, like I said, the first colorways where I feel like they don't have the reflective silver panels on them, which is very much the current Y2K aesthetic trend. But I've said it time and time again. I'm not on board with it because it feels like the shoes we saw at Ross and TJ Maxx growing up. But as for, so. so the difference between because that's what I was going to bring up. So yeah. really, it's the reflective silver is I your make so. or break. The thick mesh is like normally not my go to. But I think okay. without the reflective silver, I can stomach it a little bit more. It's still not okay. my favorite material. But when you put the reflective silver on it, absolutely out the window for me. Then you could get those Oakley glasses that like went like over the head. You <laughs> know what I mean? Like head. in yeah. Riddick or whatever. <laughs> Which is uh, another just if you want a Y2K movie. <laughs> if you want a Y2K movie. Yeah. I really hit you with that. Yeah. Um, that was a great movie. It but, is gr that, those series are fantastic. <laughs> just a simple white and black shoe. I think I noticed this earlier. we got some fun insoles here. We're doing something cute. These glow in the dark, bright blue. But yeah, I thought yes. Sneaker News didn't have the images of them for whatever reason. So let's see if I can find real quick. Um, is this... The supersonic moniker, or I guess they're calling. I guess this one's called the supersonic. I'm not sure, but oh, it's um, reaching supersonic. Yeah, someone I know. Politics has the shots of them glowing. Oh, that's the oh well. Mm, yeah, I don't think I thought it had no. The cage that, glows in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna say I think it's more. Man, the internet lied to us. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, when, <laughs> use your imagination. Yeah, they glow blue. blue in the you know middle, what blue is. Yeah. Don't look. Don't look. That's the other calendar. You didn't see that yet. Um, how do you feel about the Vomero 5? Not a fan. Um, yeah. But also, I mean, it it's it's fine. I think it does hit that kind of like, I guess you could say, like upscale dad shoe aesthetic. It, that's it's still the tech going. runner. It's the tech runner. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it again, it looks like something that would very much be like that early 2000s, maybe late 90s. 
Mm. You just watch The Matrix. <laughs> yeah. The movie, you know, the movie studio used this silhouette as like the base, but kind of like yeah. tweaked it a little bit. Um, so it's 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 nice. I think I would have other shoes that I would wear over this. Um, yeah. It, however, it, if you're in your neighborhood's walking club, stun okay, on. Okay. Stun. I on. hear they're very comfy. I don't have a pair yet, but yeah, to imagine. me, it's not like the hype hottest new thing in my collection, but it's like mm-hmm. the, if I want to stop wearing the fear of God Skylons, but replace them with like a, you know, it's comfy. It's still kind of trendy. It's got a yeah. little thing to it that I like, but it's not super flashy. That's kind of where I see these falling in my closet. Yeah, you really got to start thinking about like the wear and tear on your knee ligaments. You know what I mean? You have Ooh, we're getting you up only there. have so many knee bends in your lifetime. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you only have so many knees, and I was like, two. You have exactly two. Well, so, some of you, I don't know, <laughs> like a horse. How many knees does a horse have? You know? I thought you were going the opposite way. <laughs> oh. <You're> lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, 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 more than two, more than two, no, 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 more than two, but if you have less than two, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, fine. for our centaur, our viewers, our centaur viewers are really living right (laughs) now, finally, finally, I feel seen, (laughs) I will buy two Uh, pairs, all right, do you think, do you think centaurs have four of the same shoe sizes, or like their back hooves are, I would think, I would think four of the same size, same size, yeah, any uh, Aquarians? No acquisitions. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's the horse name thing? Aquarians. <laughs> <laughs> Any Aquarius in chat? Also, if the Gemini and the Libras could pop off for us real quick and let us know. Uh too good. Go. Too good. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the, no hoof, hooves difference. The Adidas crazy one, absolutely crazy. It's crazy. You got it. You got it right. <laughs> you got it. It's crazy. The Harden Volume Seven. Who's? I mean, that looks like it, uh, it's like a, athletes will do, and they like it's their whole body. I think it's like a sauna, but it's also like a pressure chamber. Oh, okay, yeah. That's exactly that's when I saw that. Giving? I was like, that's exactly what I look yeah. like. So who's weird, that? boy. Who's this? Who, Somewhat. Hater error. Otter error. Uh, South Korea. Who is? Okay. I don't. I don't know this brand or artist. I'm sorry, but I like your take on the Converse. That's fun. Oh, is I it not? Cool. I like the the high. Oh, it's. It looks like it's not printed on the uppers. It looks like it's like different layers, almost like tearaway. I'm looking for a close up shot. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you see, I like that's that. cool. That's way cooler than I thought. It was just like printed on the uppers. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think it's a. It's a cool look. With a little um, spot for the player's name. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. this kind of show. It's like denim underneath. Okay. I, I like it. I kind of either A, like gone with that like kind of like typical denim blue for everything, or maybe a mm-hmm. darker blue. The blue on it, like, is kind of like, especially like coming around like that, like the uh, midsole. Yeah. Is it, I don't know. I'd, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that one, but like mm-hmm. how you said that denim that's coming up yeah. um, underneath it. I like how I'm pointing at it as if you I know see yeah. where I'm pointing. Um, I really like that. See, like this blue on the lows is too blue. I know that sounds what, stupid, but what is this little like patch of white canvas we have around the eyelets there? Oh yeah, you don't. I don't, yeah, oh, you don't see my mouth. I wonder. Screen, but I wonder if it's the the material uh, the punch from, out the, from the other. That's kind uh, of what I was would wondering. Be cool. That would be cool. If I it mean, is. this does have punch outs on the eyelets, but it's not in the same shape and only on the eyelets. Well, so. maybe it would just be, maybe not the eyelets, but just random. Just in general? Material from the shoe. I think that would be cool. Quick read. Do we have a story? Uh, hold on. Uh, <laughs> uh, distressed detailing and torn canvas. Multiple instances of darning and graphic vandalism. Someone someone hit the, the you know, 200 word minimum in this one, I'm telling you. Yeah, um, Chat GPT. Coming in clutch. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not catching on the spot. Either way, good shoe. Good shoe. Yeah. The ACG Air Mock, which even as an ACG fan, these are sad. These are like mm. sad little tents for your feet. Um, oh. Anyways, we're planning a national park trip later in the year, so I'll get a pair. But these are sad. Probably, yeah. I'm not going to yeah. like it, okay? I'm an ACG well, fan, but I don't have to like it. No. Uh, The ISVA Universal. 
got left in the microwave a little bit too long. Mm, the 1906R mm. protection pack, the chunkiest of the protection packs, maybe. Yeah. Let's see what else we get. Let's see what else we get. Sprite. The twist. The, uh, the twist? The, oh. Yeah. The, oh, it looks, we're getting funky. Nope. Yeah. It looks very... Uh, very interesting like you know kind of like you have like the 3d on the swoosh and and by the uh the heel yeah the material popping you know okay. I, I think I, I think it's an interesting kind of look i think um you know i like this i like just adding something a little different okay you know nothing kind of wild but some some cool details i i like a it a little I, bubble I, pop I, around the heel yeah and the toe you, these are bumper cars these are bumper cars this is for like if you you know you walk too close to somebody. Yeah, yeah you accidentally step on bumper. someone. You got the bumper. Oh. You got the bumper. Oh. Nope. Next thing, oh. maybe next thing we could get like the dash cam lace dubre on the very front of the toes there. You there know? we go. Leave it to Nicole McLaughlin. I want blinkers. She'll put it. She'll put it on. Nicole McLaughlin will make it happen. You want there blinkers you too? Some... So you know which way yeah. someone's turning. Brake lights. I mean, cars well, for your feet. Yeah. Well, that's whenever you're gonna bump into somebody's shoes is when they stop. But you're you know you're texting. But you got the you got the bumpers though. Yeah, well. Okay. Nicole, make it happen. Thank you. We'll give that one for free. Just that that's, one. That's Next the free one. one. That's the free one. Next one costs you. Ambush collab on the Nike Air More Up Tempo. Sure. <laughs> and scrolling on. Um, well, that's August. To be fair, whenever I was looking, I was like, yeah, August is. I saw the Vomeros. That was the one that I was excited about, which uh, we peaked very early in the episode here. So we'll have to kind of pick it up. What do you think yeah. about the Crenshaw Skate Club SB Dunks? I think it's cool. I, I like the know. look. I like I like the color. It's a it, yeah. It's an interesting uh, color combo. Yeah, I think it works. I, I think the color combo uh, works. Again, I love and am haunted by an icy soul. So, you know, there is that. That might not be uh, it for you. Yeah. Well, it's, I I love it because I I think it looks so cool. Like it's so clean. It's oh, just wait. such a good. Look, you're gonna look. lose your graphic underneath it. But I'm telling you, man, you as soon as you wear these, any any speck of dirt <laughs> on a floor or the the earth is embedded earth. immediately into this shoe. If there's one thing I know about the earth, it is notorious for specks of dirt. I'll tell you right Jesus now. Jesus Christ, get Filthy. get your act together, clean it up. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean. I think they're cool. I'm very excited for Crenshaw Skate Club, honestly, to be getting this yeah. collab, um, but not something I think I would go after because not something I would wear, but the I like the funky color combo. You know, like I would not normally yeah. oh, put yeah. these colors together, but it works. But I think it looks really good. Might try and scoop up a pair for Jules. I think that would fit uh, fit him fit this, him pretty well. Okay, yeah, that's an adult size. I was about to say. Yeah, these have to be a kid's size because I was like, yo, oh. the laces are huge on these. But <laughs> I didn't realize we were jumping from, yeah, that's the adult yeah. size, kid size. Uh, they look and cute I think, on them. I think so. I, and I think this is a great example of something that, like, you can love but not want. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this is exactly it. Like you said, I think the color combos work good. I d agree. But I don't know. You kind of wear these maybe with some jeans. Maybe you got, like, a a baby blue shirt to really tie mm -hmm. in like with mm -hmm. the swoosh. Pop you can make it work. You can Pop make off. it work. Okay. Let's see them fit. But, uh, but I definitely think, yeah, I definitely will. I may try, uh, picking up these for little jewels on payday. Okay. I forgot. These were a thing. The Billy Eilish. I remember yeah. when these leaked and you were like, I'm sorry, how is this a Billy Eilish collab? Um, yeah. And to then, be fair though, the better of any of the shoes that they have done as a collab. I, 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 I feel like I don't even, I I guess technically they are a collab, but I'm just like, yeah. but they're not because there's her name on the insole. But other than that, I don't know what happened here. Um, yeah. I don't know. What else? That's pretty much it. I was like, Air Max okay. pennies. Cool. Another colorway, the Zoom Vomero. Um, oh, the Air Max Scorpion. I forgot about those. I think most people Oh, did. yeah. Let's see. It's oh, be a hard walk. No picture oh, wow. for it, but yeah, no. Wow. The Crocs you the have, don't have a picture. Okay, just not on oh, the well, thumbnail. Just not on the thumbnail. Yeah. When I first saw these, I thought like it was a joking Crocs collab. Yeah. But to know that it's actually a a, a Crocs collab is kind of wild. But I think also like missed the boat on this one by like four months. You know. Yeah. Well, because like. What was it? It was like a fashion show. Yeah, like fashion an outdoor show. Fa someone first some, wore them. 
Yeah, and I also thought I was like, oh, this is just some fashion mm-hmm. guy just being like, look, look at this. Yeah, crazy thing I wore. You know, obviously, mm-hmm. I mean, he had a whole mime get up, right. so I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, he's just doing something silly. Um, Do they have any that being that guy? no. That being said, will sell out. You th- you think because the red boots are sitting right now? Yeah, but that's because they restocked. Yeah, but even, I mean, maybe the initial sellout because the first ones did, but as soon as people got them, yeah. the prices plummeted below retail. But oh, well, like, yes. They would have to yeah. do a really small run because I think people just aren't even that excited for these as the big red boots. <sighs> maybe. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think the big red boots because you had a lot of, like, character. You had so much hype that, them up. Yeah. That you could do. Um, yeah. But these are even weirder. I mean, to be fair, I, I was like, no one's buying the big red boot. It's just them giving them to celebrities to make hype. Well, I figured that's everyone, what I thought. I figured everyone was buying it. I thought no one was wearing it or everyone was buying it to get one fit, one fit oh, uh, for the okay. Instagram. And then after that, it's like, that's the joke. The joke's over. So these, <sighs> yeah. I, but I don't know again with these that anyone even wants to get one fit off with these. So I don't. I don't know. I don't have high expectations that these are going to sell out. But again, maybe I don't know how many they made. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll I'm see. Curious to see. Oh, and the price went up. That was the other thing. The price went up $100. Yeah. So see, I feel like with everything going on with this, with like the height being lower and the price being higher, I don't know that they haven't done as much of an influencer rollout on these. So we'll I guess s- I can't I can't get a read. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Dunk low twist. You can have bumper cars in yellow. Hey, or pandas um, or the jade. Yeah, you know, Dun- this is a clean colorway. Kinda that like is a, a good black one. toe uh, of the blue. Yeah, uh, good, uh, good, good, clean dunks. Um, and good uh, industrial blue. Oh, I kind of like in the Air swoosh. Max. It looks like a blue that fades to black on the edges. That's cool. It does. Very nice. I do like that. And I, I do like how the swoosh is a little bit darker than the mm-hmm. uh, other material, so it kind of yeah. it doesn't uh, lose within it. So we get green That's really satin nice. over here. Oh, boy, satin on a shoe is yeah. Tiff. Uh, Puma, Puma. They can't even load the images for Puma. You know what? Dang. I'll do. I'll do you. I'll do you one favor. Oh, it's probably the same one, just in all the different oh, grade school yeah. little kids. Inv- okay. Well, there you go. There's your click. Um, yep. more Frank dunks, Kruger. man. I saw these the other day. Okay, tell me what you think when you see these. Dragon Ball Z. Not Squidward? For me, it's Squidward. That's a oh, Squidward colorway. Okay. The That orange panel just reminds me of like you the... Are, uh, yeah, that is... Oh, shoulder man. panels? Okay, both both answers correct. I think I so, saw yeah. them and saw yeah. Squidward, but that panel is a thousand percent the sand like shoulder pads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I think I agree. Both... If you if you took Squidward from that, I'd be like, I see Squidward for if sure. If Squidward was in Dragon Ball Z, he would be wearing these. Yep, that's the collab we need. Case closed. Yeah. Mm. Um, see, I like that. The Air Max. Uh, I keep pointing as if you you can see. I, I know what you're talking about. The magma orange reminds me of uh, what's the the Air Max? I think it was a collab where it was the oh that mud the, guards uh, like the, the Pato uh, ones. The way. The pot yeah, of, just I year, love I love that, uh, and it's almost in this uh, colorway. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. hey, didn't get those. Don't want to pay resale on those. We got you. Just I like no wavy. I like when Sneaker News has to do an article about a general release shoe, and mm. so you, there's not really a story. Magma Orange Mud Guards cover the Nike Air Max One, and you're like, that is what's happening in this picture. That is that picture. And they're like, mm-hmm. yeah. But to their credit, what do you say about a shoe that's come out a million times but now is orange? So Yeah. Uh, but it is, yeah, good colorway. I like the suede materials on it. And it looks okay, you got leather panels on this one. There you on go. The I like the, the kind of that, you know, darker material. Looks good. Nice. I'm I'm into it. Um clean. The Homer Simpson Stan Smiths. Cute. It's cute. Funny. It's funny. It's cute. You know, it's not classic. It's, it's not mean. a need to have it, but it's it's Ugh. funny, you know. Oh, look at that. The shoe going in the book. You put the shoe in the bush. Marketing life imitates art. Marketing team went crazy. The terror squad. Terror squad. Lows. 
Shout they're coming back. Jack. Yeah, they're coming back. A lean back. He was mad that people were calling these the panda colorway because, you know, the first iteration of these came out before people were calling black and white dunks pandas. And so he's yeah. like, you don't know anything. And people are like, looks like panda. <laughs> so, sorry, Fat Joe. It black white. It panda. Yep. panda the panda, glide. Panda, panda. Did we talk about this one already? Uh, we may have. We, we may have we uh, mentioned this. Yeah, this is. Yeah. I mean, none of the Drake and Nike stuff has really hit for me. It's so interesting because it's like I I see the like the Nocta Glide. I just it doesn't even look like a shoe that Drake would wear like with his yeah you know outfits. I know like obviously you know for some of the concerts he will, but I just feel like in like his mm-hmm. everyday outfits, I'm like I don't think this is a shoe he would wear if it wasn't his shoe. Yeah, you uh, you know. And that's what I, I just, I, I feel like I, I just get dizzy get just lot. looking at this shoe. Like I look at it too oh, long and I just feel like I'm, it's like a magic eye. I feel like if I look at it for long enough, I'm going to see like, especially the next that, album especially artwork. that pattern. Yeah. Especially that exactly. pattern. Yeah. Let's see. What was the last thing I saw? Just poking that down here. Yuck. Okay. That's going to do it for sneaker news. Let's move over to kicks on fire. See if they have anything different. Um, here we go. The shoe. that go. So the dunks. We had like the jade and the pandas mm-hmm. and stuff like that with the little bumpers on them. That was on sneaker news. Yeah. Not kicks on fire. Oh, okay. and then the shoe right. that I'm most hyped for is on kicks on fire, but not sneaker news. Yes. Which is, oh. could you guide me? So I know to click on it. Uh, it will be a five, not the low. Okay. That's okay. right there. So, uh, is it on the screen right now? Or no. okay, okay. No, it's a, Sorry, I was like, please segue me yet. if we need to be uh, talking about. I'll get something. you. Yeah. I'll get I didn't you. know if I'll maybe it was the um, the black toe lows that were coming out. Uh, I I really do love the black toes, but um, definitely the original high. the highs. You mean want a yeah. want a high for sure? Okay. Yeah. Um, Jordan one lows. I I have gotten more of an appreciation for. Like I, think I, a lot I of do people. think that they are a a good looking shoe. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know why the, the black toes as a low just aren't uh, mm-hmm. doing it for me as much as the highs. I think I'd rather these as a low than like breads or Royals or shadows, because I feel like for yeah, a low okay. to be that dark is kind of like a lot, but for these to have more white on them, you know, like I think yeah. for a low, it just kind of makes more sense, but I'm still with you that like, I'm not crazy on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe the union Jordan ones will actually come out this month. Who knows? August fifth. I mean, that's that's soon. I don't. Right I don't there. think it's Friday? August fifth. I feel. Yeah. I feel like we would know more if yeah. it was coming uh, yeah. this week. But it's not. Uh, I'm not yeah. sure. What day? Yeah. Let's look real quick. Fifth is fifth is Saturday. So if Saturday, you're listening okay. to this episode, maybe they come out tomorrow. Maybe they don't. Hey. Um, boy, the Trey Young three core black. This shoe. This looks like it would go crazy at like cosmic bowling. You know. Ooh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the little heat kudos, map. Kudos, yeah, kudos to them for the gradient on, like the midsole. I kind of like that. Yeah. I don't really like this silhouette, but it looks yeah, a lot looks like good. the shoes that you see people do, like sunset, like custom dyes on. Yeah, you know. So true. And then I mean, like the that green with it. I I think the colors yeah. look great. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a performance shoe, so mm-hmm. not anything that'd be interesting. But yeah, I think a good looking shoe. Let's see. Let's see. 650s. Remind you, you liked there was a pair of 550 highs you liked, yeah, but not 650s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what else we get. Yeah, see this stuff to me. This is like Okay, <laughs> this one's kind of got like your shirt slash jazz solo cup five. So this one Jazz Solo might, Cup for sure. This one might get a pass, but still no. Like I'm not gonna wear it. Um, this is this is something that like the cool kid on Saved by the Bell would wear. Yeah, yeah, and they would have an entire episode about it, <laughs> about the shoes. Yeah, about the about shoes. how like Slater was like doing drugs but had to get the shoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know he was stealing from the local like sneaker he place to be from, able to like, buy it. No, like he was on the football team, so he was like stealing supplies to sell them to get to these sell shoes. Them. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. He yeah. was running a black. That's what it is. He was running a well, not Slater. Was Slater the blonde? No, that was Zach. On. That was Zach Morris. Zach. Zach's doing it, not Slater. Yeah. yeah. Zach is stealing from the school to sell black and market stuff to the students at the school at an upcharge to get these because he to saw the, the school bully wear these. 
And the reason he wants to do that is because the school bully was flirt with the girl that he wanted to flirt with. And the girl chose him because of the shoes. ABC, we will take a meeting for no less than $250,000. Thank you. Thank you. We no strike less than with we, our we, yes. fellow SAG actress. We don't, we don't, uh, what was that? Uh, scroll. When you don't have a good, when you can't get out of it, scroll. Let's just scroll, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. New Balance 550 White Turtle Dove. Hold on. Kanye calling. You can't <laughs> say that. Uh, Trademark. Trademark. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Whoa, blue suede. These look like suede. Wow, that's. I don't know if it's just the picture. Though, when they said suede, they meant suede. That's fuzzy. Extra. They. You're gonna need a comb. That's listen, the, that's the. <laughs> ch- chits with this one is a is a brush. Kanye might not, but they got the answer suede. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I know his name's Sway, by the way. You don't have to come at us in the comments. Come there. on, come on. Okay. Play on words, people. Play on words. Uh, there's your, there's your big yellow boots again. Uh, I'm looking, I haven't missed your shoe yet. Have I almost there? There it is. Okay. Oh, burgundy boys. That re-release. This Mm. is a re-release. Yes. Okay. Sure is. Talk on it a little bit. Speak on it. What do we got here? I just, it's just, it's just a good looking shoe. I, it's one of those that, um, just back in the day, just kind of really just, just stood out. Um, to me and i just i just really you know just really loved it. i think it's a, a clean looking shoe i love a five again it's weird because i just feel like um i'm not usually gravitated towards a kind of single color shoe yeah um even though there is a little bit that breaks it up but i just but think it's great i think it's pretty it's looking icy slippery <sighs> conditions on the bottom there i'll let the i'll let it pass yeah I'll now wasn't pass. there this was right around maybe this is like a year or two before we started podcasting because I remember seeing them at the mall with you all the time. There was like the premium materials pack of the five that they did. And I remember oh God, always yeah. seeing at the mall the green ones, like the drab green ones. But wasn't yeah. there a maroon one from that pack as well? Maybe. I, I know I was so. really into that uh that green one because it was uh just the material on it just looked I mean so good. I don't know that that specific shoe is it, but yeah, those are the great, the take yeah. flight collection is what it was called. There it is. Um, oh, I mean, mm. yeah, it was like real premium leather, but they were also like, there you go. what were they like? $300. I thought four. I think they were 400. So, so expensive, yeah. uh, which is why I never got them, but I, I, I loved looking at them. I was like, that's a good looking shoe, but I was like, dream. I've got the fears. So I was like, I wasn't like, he's got the fear. not going to break. Yeah. not going to break the bank at that. So I was like, eh, yeah. Uh, Jordan four red cements. If you didn't just get fire reds and you're sad about it, you know, there you go. That's for you. Okay. I'll just take these. A lot of dunks, a lot of dunks. They're just printing them now. Um, yeah. Well, whoa. Uh, also the, uh, kicks on fire a lot more, uh, air maxes, which I think we'll get to later. Down okay. The list, okay. Whoa. Nike women's Cortez world make. What do we got here? Uh, Bish had a tan. Uh, okay. Ornate pattern inside the swooshes. Okay. I mean, these are going to be cool from the same way that the hinder schemes were cool, which is that, like, as you wear them and they age, everyone's mm-hmm. hair is going to age a little bit differently. Um, yeah. But at the same time, an all leather, which, I mean, I guess the Cortez is normally all leather, but it's just, I just look at it and my feet get hot, you know? And I know it's a women's release, so maybe I don't even have to worry about it. But yeah, heat index is too much for an all other shoe. Truly, truly. But cork insoles that'll make it nice. That'll actually help. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I had one pair. React eighty sevens had cork insoles, and I love them. And I wish more shoes had them. I don't know why. Maybe just yeah. material cost. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, another scorpion, but in hot pink. Ooh. Um, Your Barbie and Oppenheimer. This is <laughs> uh, this is just a good colorway of the Air Max ninety. This image is blurry. Maybe this is a mock up. Yeah. I don't know, but I mean, like, there you go. It's not special, but if like if you're looking for an Air Max ninety, there's a good colorway of it. I would say. Yeah, there's there's a there's a lot of good uh, Air Maxes coming up uh, in August. This the thing, the off white and Air Force One mid sheen oh. black. 
I, I mean, I've never even. I did not know this was a thing. Which crazy, if this is a thing that they would have a different logo on it. But interesting. Well, it's okay. Rashid Wallace. That's the sheet for those of you sports fans that didn't know it. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say we don't need it, but maybe someone's gonna go crazy for it. I don't know. Someone will like it. Yeah, yeah. Which, good for them. Oh, and these, I don't even think these are coming this late in August. I think these are sooner, if not already happened. The Amma Manir Jordan mm. Airship, which this is like their second one they did. They did a blue one just earlier this year, or like late last year. But like okay. the same, just like plain colorway, which... This is nice. This one has more details on it than the last one. The blue one they did, oh, we don't get any more pictures. Just the one. Well, <sighs> it's more of a thing. Um... The last one they did, I think, just had their name on the tag on the tongue. Like, it seemed pretty last minute. Again, I'm with you that these are nice, but they're also, like, a little simple, you know? Whereas, like... (laughs) Sometimes, you know, sometimes that's might what you you want. Oh, look, this is the last one they did. Yeah. Which, I get that Amma Manir's thing is normally, like, simple but elevated, but these, to me, don't necessarily feel elevated. Um, Do we get more pictures? Yeah. Yeah, see, I think way at the bottom on the on the tongue tag, they had their name on these, if you can see it even, but... Oh, that's a better oh, shot. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Wow. But other than yeah, that, a... it was very much like... And these were kind of limited. That's, yeah, part of, I think, what they were that, trying I mean, to drive the hype. Maybe with, that's but. what they're trying to do of just like a, you know, like a more under the radar. You want to support the brand, but maybe you don't want something, you know, as bold. Uh, like, hey, this maybe. is Abba Manier. Could but, be, you know. Uh, airship of the year, still uh, every game airships. Thank you. No questions. Well, not taking questions yep. at this time. Just sitting it on over. Good colorway on the Hirachis too. <laughs> Turns out between like the Air Max nineties, I pointed out the Vomeros at the top and the Air Hirachi. You put like gray and cream on a shoe, and I'll give you, I'll give you twenty seconds on our show to be like, good shoe, good colorway. It's a good, good colorway. Shoe. It's clean. It's very clean. wearable. Clean. It's simple. Gray and gray. And Every day. Cream. Wow. Every day shoe. Real range on this one, huh, Ryan? <laughs> This one, I feel like we saw before, or I at least saw it by myself. I like it. Yeah. Well, I, and, and I don't like I don't like 97s, but I mm-hmm. really like the colors on it. Now, let me tell you, some people on the internet calling this, we have Sean Weatherspoons at home. Do you see the vision? No. No. You don't think he's, got, just, you don't think he's got a trademark on Corduroy on the Air Max 97 upper? Uh, no. Okay. No, just the material? No. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't think the material. I mean, no. I think... I think uh, I see why people associate it with it, but whether you want to go so far as to be like this is a knockoff version of it, that's a you know, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't thing, say. I mean, I I could say I was, but I would be like, yes, okay, maybe you know, when you think of, you know, corduroy upper or you know, especially on on a ninety seven, yeah, you're probably gonna go Witherspoon. However, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that I get knockoff Witherspoons for this just because of the material. That's fair. Uh, now, if it had like the same colors or like it was missing a handful mm-hmm. that I would be like, okay, yeah, yeah. I've, I mm-hmm. would, I would concede to that. It's got some of the same um, colors, not the same shade, but some of the same colors. No, it's mostly, it's mostly pink and green. Well, this yellow had way more like, well, I'm talking about the mud guard, you know, no. I mean, I the see mud the guard yellow. looks blue. Oh shit. I'm seeing green. <laughs> uh, I'll get, I'll, I'll settle for bluish green, but it looks, there you go. Okay. That looks kind of blue to me. I, I, I mean, pull, pull I'm not up, trying pull up the to. Willis I'm not trying to Willis make phone. the argument here. I'm tired of pulling up. I'm, uh, I'm tired of pulling up Google Chrome because my bookmarks and tabs keep showing every time. So that's oh, okay. Never me. mind. Never if mind. Anyone's listening this far. I'm too lazy to edit it out, probably. But we d- listen. We know what the Witherspoons look like, so we'll keep it on the yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, c- I could see how people would say that with with the the La Corduroy. Um, yeah. But no, I, I don't think I would say these are these I are not say, those are your. I like on the on the inside you get the swoosh, the outside. I like this little air text that you get on the midsole there. That's good. I like that Looks a lot. Good. So I think yeah, I think colors are colors are good. This is a yeah. this is a good one. And like I said, I am not a fan of ninety uh, sevens. Me either. But I saw those and I was like, clean. That's a good looking one. Yeah. Those are hard. Whoa. Shout out. Shit. I think these are iridescent, and that's the only thing that's. Ooh, the oil slicks on your feet. Listen, Uh-oh. they don't know what angle to see you coming from. Call BP. Just do they it. the spot. They put the they put the Nike upside down. They went crazy on you. They went sickle mode. Just do it. You can't tell me what to do. 
except it. I'm gonna I'm gonna just do it. It looks like it just says. It looks like it says just don't. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> uh oh. If you're getting into real suspect activity, they took the Air Force One low triple black and made it waterproof. They they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Yikes on bikes. Wow. Yeah. But they also did a university gold. So good on them. Um, hey, oh, this protection pack, the 2002R. Yeah. These are nice. This one. Oh, we got the rip stop on the olive drab. Yeah. I like these. These are rugged. Rugged. Those look nice. I The, uh, whatever it is, the, the oh, desert. You like the, mm, oh, this is the one you the like? Desert. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's good too. Yeah. That's good to know. Let me tell you what, you got, you got fight. a, you got a car hard fit. <sighs> Throw those on with it. Yeah. This one's clean. Ooh, this one's those clean are, too. But that's kind of given like, that's definitely given like Yeezy season. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I get that. But, uh, which, what about you of the pack? Which one? Um, probably okay, dark moss. I mean, desert yeah. looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't, mm, I ca- I don't love that the logo on it is kind of like the dark green. I kind of wish it was a different color. I don't know what color, but sure. that's the only thing that kind of like is ru- <laughs> just another color. I don't know which color, but not that. Um, <laughs> but I can't give you overall not bad. There was one. Guidance. There was one protection pack that came out not that long ago that I really liked, and I kind of wish I'd picked up, but. I don't think they're selling for too much. This yeah. is the, hang on, we'll we'll go double here. This is the mm. Sea and Spots Air Max one. Everything you need. What is that about? A special hidden message inside the tongues which promotes positivity and inclusion. Seventies <laughs> inspired tie dye like print <laughs> on the mud car. Why are you booing inclusivity? <laughs> no, I mean I'm booing positivity, positivity. and inclusion. <laughs> No, 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 he doesn't, no, he doesn't no, no. Speak for both of us. What does it say on the inside? I said the positivity. That was the first one. What? Everything you need is already inside. Like inside of you, I guess, not inside the shoe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, there's not money inside of me, so. <laughs> not yet. There's not. And I'm going to eat a handful of dimes. <laughs> <laughs> this will turn into a hundred dollar bill <laughs> later. Um, this is Nike Dunklo Women's Barbie, but I don't know that this is. What is going on here? It's pink. But is this like actually a thing? Because if so, like this would, I feel like, you know, like be co-branded with Mattel and would have come out around the movie, you know? Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe they couldn't get Mattel to sign off on it. They're like, we're going to do our own thing. We're um, going to get close. I mean, listen, good on them for all the details. I like the glitter in the outsole. Yeah. You know, I like what they did with it. Um. I got the stars on the side. I'd, We're all there. I'd be surprised and confused if this came out and it's not a collaboration with Mattel, but maybe. Fair, fair. Um. Ooh, this is looking interesting. My gosh, easy. You can slow down. I'm not mad at this. Nah, that's a nice one, isn't it? That's a good looking one. Look at those laces. I know the Look laces are a good contrast on it. Um, I'm telling you, man, they got this is a good, good time to say we're, we're very far into this episode, but I think we mentioned at the top, uh, there's no shot. You listen this far and are not watching it, but I've just realized yeah. how much we've been saying, like, I oh. like this and we haven't really said anything yeah. about it. If by chance you're still listening and not watching, honestly, like salute to you for making it yeah. like 40 minutes on just audio. Um, you're on a, you're on a, you're on a, a drive. Yeah, you're, yeah, it's true. Uh, and in which case, don't look at the screen. What a Eyes very the frustrating road. drive. Hands at 10. T- <laughs> if it came to the point where you've been listening to us talk about sneakers without being descriptive, <laughs> but just saying, I like this, I'd be like, I wish they'd kind of, eh, with it, you know? <laughs> then like, I wish it would give me something. I'm so sorry for whatever drive you're on that, like, we're yeah. all you have left. Yeah. But use your blinkers. Yeah. The manufacturers put them there for a reason. Oh, oh look at everything going on here. <laughs> I don't like the tongue at the bottom of the shoe on this. You like how I launched right back into it after acknowledging it? Yeah. Yeah. Because we have Look the visuals. All of that. I don't feel restrained to not be lazy in my speech because yeah. we have the visuals just because our listener may not have the luxury of watching it right now. So <laughs> if you don't pause it, listen to something else and come back yeah. when you can. But 
man. Oh, is that the inside of the shoe coming up over the back of it? I don't know what it is. I don't like looking gonna at get, it. I'm going to get it off my screen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> not, I'm so sorry everyone like. have to look at that. Uh, Maybe it's good you're listening. Oh, you're right. More good. <laughs> More good Air Max is coming out? Yeah, I, oh, I think is, some pretty okay. solid ones. So is this a pack maybe that we got a Sashiko Jordan 1 Looks low like and then it's not labeled as it for the Air Max 1, but they definitely look related. Yeah. I hate when they do the pre-aged midsole and they make it look like, you know. It's not even good. The bad smudges on it like that. Yeah. Just make like, it cream it, colored. Yeah. Did you paint it? Like what? Like what's going on know. there? You know? Oh, but it that. looks like these might also get cork insoles. So this is a yeah. This is a good. Like, how did one. you just get nicotine on your fingers and, <laughs> and only touch the midsole just of a shoe? Like, by I, that, I, yeah. I, that I, that I yeah, don't get. They don't give up those trade secrets, you know. Yeah. Oh, we're in yeah. September. Close your eyes. Don't look. You didn't Stop. see any of that. No. You didn't see any of that. <laughs> spoilers! Spoilers! So, there you have it. I think that's a lot of the August releases that we know of as of right now. So, after all of that, do you have? The Jordan 5, the Burgundy one, is of everything in August that we know about right now what you would be most excited about? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, and I think going through this, um, you know, some funky dunks. Some funky dunkies, that's right. Some funky dunkies for the little boy. Yeah. My son. My son. <laughs> My son. My favorite shoe is the Vomero 5. All right. Thank you, everyone, for listening to another episode of Shoe Podcast. You can catch Jeez. us online at shoepodcast.com for all of the links you're about to hear. Uh, on Instagram, at shoepodcast. You can see everything as Peter rips his eyeballs into his head. TikTok, at shoepodcast. I think we have enough loaded there in a while, but we'll get right on that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> YouTube.com forward slash at shoepodcast. And lastly, if you want to support the show, you can do so over on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Shoe podcast. You guessed it. That's right. For two dollars a month helps with all of our hosting fees and you get access to the video content early before everyone else on YouTube does. So mm-hmm. you can be on the playground laughing at your friends. There you go. Yeah. Tanner, you got anything you want to leave the people with before we wrap up? Mm. I told you you had 40 minutes and I got that. Yeah, was actually pretty, had, that was pretty right. A little yeah, more. Yeah. A little more maybe. Uh, you know, look. This is maybe maybe for our, our coastal coastal uh, okay. listeners okay. and viewers, but uh, hopefully we don't have to. But it's always good to start prepping early. G- oh. Get that hurricane checklist prep prep going. Um, yeah. Just make sure you got enough supplies. Um, you know, check your batteries, check your flashlights. Yeah. You know, um, I don't, save, I don't, save I don't on like plastic. It. I don't like yeah. it because it's me. I don't like that you're saying it because it's me that needs to hear it, but okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Save on plastic. Save on plastic. Don't buy the cases of individual water bottles. Just go buy gallon jugs of water. Good you're going to save way more money and get basically the same amount. Good call. Um, and like I said, it's just less pl- plastic. So yeah. uh takes up less space. Um, so yeah, go get your gallon jugs of water. Uh, and it's always good. Like I said, just, just get your Google hurricane prep list. Make sure you got everything. Uh, it's ne- it's never too early to prepare, and you would rather be prepared and not need it than need it and not have it. That's right. Yep. I don't like that you subconsciously planted a weekend errand for me, but I like I it because, again, I'd rather do it now than like two days before yep. we know it's going to come and everyone's out there trying to do it. So. And everyone's out there, and then now you're, the roads aren't safe because everyone's afraid you're in a, you know, and COVID's still a thing, so you don't want to be, you know, I mean. Truly. Truly. Do it now. Do it now. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out another episode of Shoe Podcasts. We'll be back whenever with whatever. I'm your co-host, Ryan Landry. I'm your co-host, Tadio. See you next time. Do the arms again as we go out here.